Oh, how's it going today there, YouTube? Well, kind of playing around in the shop today. I kind of wanted to show you guys something. The video I've been trying to make for a while, actually. But I found the uh, innards of an electric motor at work there the other day, sitting on the ground when I was picking up garbage outside. So I wanted to show you guys how to punch the copper wire windings out of an electric motor. So, I've already kind of been playing out with a little bit. But uh, of course this would have your metal shell and a pulley on and of course this is the inside of an electric motor. But the first thing you want to do is take a knife, I usually cut off this because it's quicker, and cut all these little windings off, well webbing actually I should call it, little strings that hold all the copper together. And then next what we'll do, we'll, uh, I'm going to run a cut off disc around this part here and this will come off. Excuse me. Use a cutoff disc, hacksaw, whatever you've got. I'm gonna use a cutoff disc just because that's what I've got here. So uh, I'll sit you guys up on the tripod, and you guys can watch me uh, hack away at it. This is the cutoff wheel I'm gonna use. It's not the right cutoff wheel for this grinder. It's actually a little bit too big for us for a four-inch angle grinder. Oh, uh, you guys like my proper airline I have now? Picked that up this morning. Very surprisingly, that airlines don't come with fittings already on them. They used to, but I guess. Uh, you know, everyone's getting cheap these days, so... Anyway... So it's kinda cold out today, it's about minus 4 or 5. Actually... Now, before you guys... Even start cutting any of this stuff, wear your safety glasses. At least, minimum. I can't explain how many times I've had these things explode on me and hit me in the face and all kinds of different stuff. So anyway, here we go. Well, after you cut that chunk off, that's about what you're left with. That's what the uh, leftovers are. I ended up using the hacksaw for the last little bit because my airline iced up on me a little bit and I wasn't getting too much air through my grinder. Look, you can see. Still works, but it wasn't getting the revs out of it. But anyway, next I'll flip this over and then we'll uh, pull the rest of that out. I haven't got my vice mounted to my desk just yet here, or my bench rather. You see, we might have a bit of a hard time getting this out because this, this has been run over a few times. Maybe more than one or two times for that fact. I found it buried in the snow this weekend, or on Wednesday or Thursday rather. Anyway, you just want a big screwdriver and start prying them up. Once again, safety goggles on because you never know what's going to come flying out of here. You want to just go around and start working them out. Of course, the fact that I don't have the vise mounted and the fact this has been crushed is making it difficult. It's usually, it's not this bad taking this stuff out of here. Plus, this is also a pretty big motor too. It was a big motor. And yes, motor is the right term because engine is for gasoline. Electric is motor. In case you guys didn't know that, a little technical term there. Yeah, this is uh, not going as well as I planned here, boys. Might need a pry bar. Alright, there's another tip I should have showed you guys here. You flip it back over, or in my case, before you flip it over the first time, take a screwdriver and a hammer, and you can punch these windings down a little bit. You'll see them come out through the bottom here, and you should be able to grab them. Now, of course, it's hitting the bottom of the vise too right now, but you can readjust them. You can see it's already starting to come through a little bit. You should only have to do this a couple of times. But like I said, this one's been run over a few times, so it's kind of flattened out and everything's kind of mushed together, so it's harder to, it's a little harder to get the copper out. There, see, that's much better. Ow. 
sharp. I'm trying to at least get some of the extraction on tape for you guys. It's already, it's already a lot farther out on this side. Try and drive some out from the other side then and we'll uh, show you guys the end result. Well, that's what we got boys. I end up taking the hammer and screwdriver and hammering all out of there, but uh, as you guys can tell, it's a little bit caved over so I ended up just cutting it off. But that's what I got. It's a couple pounds of copper, but I mean hey. Not, a, not the best example, but it's a little bit of copper anyway. A little bit of work. Usually didn't take too long, but ours was uh, stoved in there, so oh well. By the way, guys, we rolled over 100,000 video views today, which is friggin' awesome. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. We almost had 500 subscribers, so probably by this time next weekend. I already have a tractor in mind for what I'm going to do for my giveaway. Anyway, if you're interested in sending in a tractor combine piece of equipment for the greatest farm type collection on YouTube, I appreciate that big time. I'll give you a big, big shout out on my YouTube channel. Anyway, we'll catch you guys on the next one.